My name is Brian Dimmer. I uh, perform communications with uh, California Interagency Incident Management Team 4. We use Cloudcasters to provide communications at what we call Spike Camp. Spike Camp is a uh, camp basically, like you do camping, uh, in a remote location. Uh, and this scenario is about a uh, two and a half, three hour hike in from a trailhead. So uh, the crews basically spend the night out there and sleep. It's not, not on the fire line, so it's a safe spot for them. Uh, but typically uh, they have minimal um, things that they can have there as far as just food and water, a place to go to the bathroom, that's about it. So Cloudcasters provided a uh, package unit for us to uh, do several things. One was it uh, provided an internet connection. Uh, the second thing was it provided some uh, UIP VoIP phones. And the third item was it provided a cellular connection. Uh, with that, we were able to uh, take the incident action plans or IEPs, uh, print them out every morning for the crews going out in the field. Also, uh, download and print out infrared maps uh, showing where the heats were on the fire itself. Uh, this will provide for greater safety of the crews going out there and uh, better information, better intelligence so they can go out and uh, be more effective and efficient at firefighting. Uh, it maintained on there, it also is a morale uh, tool for the crews at night when they came in. They could contact their family or their spouse, uh, update their Facebook or you know, social media accounts, uh, and basically lift the morale and spirits of the people who are stuck out in the field for two to three weeks at a time. But I talked with Mike about a few different ideas. One of them was uh, we noticed going out there that many of the people had dead cell phones. As you can imagine, being in a remote location, there's not a lot of places to charge your phones. So one of the things that uh, we asked Mike to do was uh, add USB chargers. Another discussion was, uh, and we actually started doing this, was to uh, stream the briefings at the main camp up to the spike camp. So they got the full morning briefing that everyone else did, including the uh, incident meteorologists, the fire behavior analysts, uh, give them their briefings. So uh, we talked about creating basically the ability to provide a uh, video conference. The one nice thing about your package is that it puts uh, you can basically put cell phones or, or phones and data all in one package. Typically we have to find local vendors that are providing internet service and if there's some available, phone lines, same thing, there's typically a lot of phone lines. Uh, a lot of times we're limited to how many we can actually get into the camp, uh, just what the infrastructure can support. So uh, your package uh, looks like it can provide that data amounts but also uh, some of the phone lines through VOIP services and uh, provide the solutions that we need in one package so we can quickly deploy it and have one person to connect with if there's any issues.